Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray back at it again. And today we're talking about navigation snapshots. This is a very clever way to make your way around the tracks area. Let me show you what I mean. By holding the keyboard modifier control and option, this summons the magnifier tool. I'm going to go ahead and create one navigation snapshot. I'm going to go a little tighter still. That's number two. And then I'll go a little bit tighter still. All right. We know that if we hit option and click back on the background of the workspace, we are in effect going back and reverting to the initial view. So we're going theoretically from navigation snapshot number one to then number two to then number three. Well, what if I wanted to go back? Well, if I go into the key command window, we can see that I can navigate back by hitting option Z, or you can navigate forward by hitting shift Option Z. So let's check out those options. Shift Option Z takes me back to the third navigation snapshot. Option Z takes me back in time. Conversely, you can also just hold Option and click the background of the workspace. And what do I mean by that? Not the region itself. You notice you won't get the functionality here, here in the tracks area, in the blank space. So again, to reiterate, creating a navigation snapshot. There's number one, there's number two, and I'll go really tight for number three. Now I want to go back in time. Option Z takes me back to navigation snapshot number two. There's number one, and then we're back to default. All right, now something else that we should make clear before we go is that you can actually be a bit more intentional with recording your navigation snapshot. In other words, if you want a little bit more control, I highly recommend you utilize storing your navigation snapshot. Now what this is going to do, rather than just selecting the keyboard modifier navigation snapshots just kind of randomly, you're actually going to record them. So here's my macro view, I'm gonna hit Shift Z. So now this is recording this snapshot. I will then select a wide view of these two regions, Shift Z, recording a second navigation snapshot. I'm gonna go a little tighter now between these two, Shift Z, giving me a third. And then finally, just the purple region. I'm gonna create a selection here, and I'll hit Shift Z. Now again, remember, we start to utilize the commands, and we can see that Shift Option Z brings us back to two. Here is three. And here is four. Again, if I want to go back to navigation snapshot number one, option Z, option Z, option Z. Good. Now we're back to normal. Again, if you just need a little bit more information, go into the key command window, type in navigation, and you should get all the information you need right here. All right, team. If you like the content, go ahead and smash that like button. Thank you very much for the support. Looking forward to serving you on the next one. Let's go!